Hello everybody, welcome to the artclasses.com This is Zia Teptara speaking uh, Just want you guys to know that the class for one-on-one -on -one mentorship and group class are now open for summer and fall registration For the one-on-one -on -one mentorship, 8 weeks or 5 weeks you can choose what you want to focus on like drawing or you can just focus on figure drawing whatever you want to improve on I also have the class for these and these are basically the foundation before you begin to do uh, character design and if you're already good at those you can focus on character design and painting and you will go through the whole course of how to basically design a character uh, creating the form and adding an additional lighting or how to design a certain character in the way that it will come out look uh, like a good character painting or you can do some environment you know, um, I usually teach from the ground up with the foundation and all the way to the finished painting. As long as you follow the instruction strictly and and pay attention to feedback from the live class that you have with me weekly, you be, will be uh, better in no time. Live class usually lasts about 45 minutes or more and you could get a few hours of multiple lesson per week depends on how hard you work to the artclass.com and take class with me I still got email um, from you guys say if I'm still offering class and you have uh, eight week courses which is a one-on-one -on -one course so if you click there then you can click on this video and see if um, uh, what the course is all about and we have one-time payment or in installment and then you check out how it works usually you know you get a video lesson and then you work on your assignment and you uh, come back uh, on to the live class on a weekly basis and I will give you feedback and paint over and see what you have to improve on so what we do is what we do a uh, deliberate practice so we try to identify your sticking point and what you want to improve on it will make your artwork better so that's the general idea and then you have general course outline and what you will get on a weekly basis and how it works and things yeah you can just register there also, here are some of the student work that um, currently enrolling right, right there, right one, and then uh, Kyle stuff, and then you see a bunch of people there. So if you are in class, you will see uh, be able to access this group and with all the students there, or you can click on the review. Uh, student review or student artwork. If you click on student artwork, you see uh, the artwork that I handpicked from the previous student that uh, people, student that already uh, graduated from my class. And you know, you can see week one, week four, week two, week whatever, how improvement they made. And you can go to the student review and you can read on all the review there, right? The class will be designed as like five weeks and eight weeks, but I would strongly recommend the eight week courses uh, because uh, those are longer and uh, it, they, you usually get better with that duration you want to really get better uh, the eight week program would be much better so what we'll do is I will send you uh, depends on how fast you work I'll send you an, an hour or over an hour video each week uh, and then you will just have to uh, follow the program work on the assignment that I give you each week and those assignments will help you improve whatever area that you want to improve on. I'll, I'll provide a particular set of video to send to you within the five week or the eight week programs. Then after you watch the video, you are going to, you can have about a week to finish your homework. Then we are going to meet once a week on the particular date and time. Uh, we can set that before after you register. Usually it's a uh, it's up to your convenience. If you are in Europe, you usually pick the morning time of the Pacific time um, from either you know ten to two o'clock in the afternoon of the Pacific time, but it will be night over there. Uh, but if you are from the U.S., it will be the night class. So uh, in the afternoon, I have time to do my own work. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of the pain over sample uh, after. I explained this work but if you miss any particular class uh, then you get a record video of that session so you won't miss any class but uh, you have to turn in the homework so the class will be up to you what time you want to be in the class and what date you are available so alright so you're gonna get all it depends like you can get over an hour of video instruction uh, within a week depends on how fast you work or how good you are so I can send 
uh, set of video I have tons of them and then you do the homework and then we will meet once a week for like half an hour and then we will uh, work on how to improve your stuff all right guys I hope to see you guys in my class I will talk to you soon and then after this is going to be some pen over sample video looking forward to working with you guys bye bye all right guys so here is the original image and I feel like if the lights coming here right you should uh, the light should hit here a little bit and then this branch over here should come down a bit more and you should have a little bit of light hitting here so that's what I did and then I increased the contrast if it's like the daylight because the lighting coming from 45 degree it's still during like the day either morning or afternoon so the light would be kind of uh, strong enough to create a really strong contrast right so if it's an evening light which will come on the side then it would be slightly weaker but since it's coming slightly on top um, angle on top it will be a lot stronger and a little blade of grass and I will explain everything in as I paint because this uh, basically I just paint over live and it's not live but just paint over as I go and I might mumble a little bit but you will probably get the point and if you want to join my class uh, just go to theartclasses.com uh, you can download brush over there you can download a bunch of video tutorial all right let's do a paint over so um nice work good attempt uh nice separation of mid uh, foreground mid ground and background and nice attempt on lighting um there are a a few things you could do to improve this um, first I would kind of bring this out a little bit more and have it also catches the light or facing the light right so you know the that there's a lighting direction I might make it I'm try going to try to make it smaller so it looks like it's closer to this well um, let's do the one in the foreground here catch the light a bit just make the silhouette stand out a bit more and then just gonna make selection and I'm gonna use poly overlay and overblown it and well let's do color dodge there we go um well you raise it first just gonna make a copy here i mean make a selection and color dodge I'll pick that go a little bit more blue and less saturate a little bit brighter maybe a little more <laughs> a little more it doesn't seem like it wants it select there okay there we go that's pretty much what I'm looking for so I'm trying to make this whole uh, branch facing the light right let me make it a little bit more green there. It's look a little faded out. There we go. More saturated. So now you have this part facing the light a bit. So now I'm finding. Uh, so now I'm finding the value. I could go up and use uh, deselect and use 100% opacity and just paint these maybe go a bit brighter and I'm just gonna well squibble now right so you have a little bit of light here and then on the behind I could make another layer whoops make another layer lower the opacity on that I mean yeah lighten that up a bit make that below lighten it up 
this one kind of like a little bit s smaller on the branch let me clean this up so that is the one in the foreground and then here's the one I'm not sure if move closer here there we go so kind of show the you know um, distance and scale and all that so this will be smaller not sure I'm gonna have uh, I should have enough time to cover tons of these and then a little bit here right there I'm just gonna speed up a little and then add more light well you could use color dot and here so so it'd be lighter right Ah, that might be too bright. Let's lower a little bit there. But you get the idea. Go normal again. Come on, man. There we go. Right, give it a bit more. And then the further away one. some light to that but this will be like big patch so give it more you know a little more form to the overall all right so that's uh to give kind of give it more depth into this one might be a little bit longer Let's do that and then small. I gotta erase that. But you get the idea. Right, so it, it creates uh, a little more depth onto this side of the screen. Then on here, um, I might do the same thing if the light passing through him there should be a little bit more light also around here right on some patch let me zoom out and then some of them are in the shadow And the area around his foot are like lit and then I could add more light on this side here doesn't have to be big it could be like tiny small little thing but make sure that the light path through there and then your shadow might fall over here and then a little bit more light on this part So now you have a bit more depth to create like foreground, midground, background. That would be a little shadow, and that should be the use overlay. It should be light in this section also, right? Because it's gonna pass and shine through him. So maybe the shadow is on only on that side and then get some right and then light a 
on the back would like right behind him on like the section you can light this up also a bit and then it will be the shadow that cast from him and then well I could tone this down a bit here because it looked like almost out of place there and pick these maybe go up and this would be shadow that cast from this blade of grasses alright so there now on that part on the further away ones also gonna light those up this uh, maybe that's too much maybe just 50 and then on here right the color might not be correct but you get the idea and then over here you can add amount of light that would touch these things on the further away side and then light might come through this a bit um, maybe not there but maybe widen this part a bit a bit there alright so this side of shadow I would uh, I will probably pull this down a bit and this might be a bit too I'm not sure if it's too dark but let's go up a bit more more saturated a little more like make it a uh, you know because it's, it's a little too thin there so you want to make it so that it look like some sort of a branch that came off from somewhere not just little tiny leaf that decorating the frame right so um, give it a little bit of form but then understand that it is in the shadow so it's going to be on the shadow side of it and make it point that way this you can get rid of that you don't need that and then you could have backlit on this one slightly or maybe some of them come through right sort of open but make the leaf look nicer like what I'm doing here is just a bunch of little you know what to do um, assuming and then the vine here uh, this I would get rid of that move all the vine to this side probably be better Make another layer here. Bam. Thinner. This one will be thinner since it's further, right? So you got want to show a little bit of depth, like a thinner one here and then a thicker one here. And some of these leaves you probably want bigger. I mean not bigger, brighter. Like make it face the light some part of it. And go to the light and it will catch catches the light but hmm, it doesn't catch well what if I do color dodge paint in the background so right some of these would catches the light so don't make them too dark Let's. I'm gonna get rid of these and then 
repaint them again. Whoa. But the rest of this arrangement are nice. Um, on this blade of grass, I could add a little bit of you know, light there to give it more form here, right? Maybe not too light, but slightly lighter to give slightly uh, these brushes and shrubs a little more form here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the character. Oh, did I? Oh, I make that way too light. A little bit lighter. Okay, so now we are coming to the character on the blade. Let me explain to you a little bit here. I would so your blade is facing basically up against the light on this edge only and it's like it's very thin see what I mean to to have it go up with the light and um, if you want the light to show up on him better you gotta cloud out the background a bit more so have it lighter over this area make it lighter but this poly you want to control it have it darker so that it's kind of you can see a little bit darker on this area and I would angle the blade differently so I'm going to use another color pink now I would angle the blade okay I would angle instead of angle it this way I would angle it have the curve have the, the sharp part the the edge or the the sharp edge go up oh come in I can't see this so you're facing the enemy with a sharp blade but then I will have a diagonal change so that this instead of catching the light on the blade itself you're catching the light with the whole area because now when you turn it this way um, instead of facing up you turn it in angle then this will the whole blade will get the light um, it might not be direct but it will get enough and make it shinier so I will try that and see if it works it might not work we'll see alright now I'm going to use well, let's go down here so I have the sky over there I'm going to use layer new adjustment level lower the light a little bit so I could control more of what to lit so just there and now we have a little dimmer I should like put that light all the way over here but since this one show the cast would be casting over here um, where are those light oh right here so this could be a bit darker here I would add the light more light here just you know just to simplify it because otherwise look I'm not sure if that worked that well, but simplify it a little bit more. Kind of bring this thing all together. And then, yeah, this is a really dark this is a nine you should like have it slightly lighter nine is pretty dark if I pick this it's like seven six wait what is that my oh okay so that was 
that was on level so okay I'm just gonna erase this a little bit just make everything kind of too dark in the front that was my fault uh, okay so now I kind of make that light sort of simplify that slightly a little bit more but this will be his shadow basically from where would that might go there simplify that and that might be some shadow from somewhere here but I'm gonna simplify the overall overall area of this and some of them might get shadow a uh, cast shadow right from the top here assuming or something off the frame and some of them top of the glass blade there simplify then I'm gonna add some on top of the glass blade so this is not gonna be super refined by any means just a little bit so there right I'm gonna erase this a bit and maybe I'm gonna lighten that up a bit it's in the shadow but a bit lighter right so there okay now we can go to the character so I think it's uh, sort of enough now here I'm going to lighten some of that up a bit see what I mean bring some of them out in groups take some of them out a bit maybe a bit too much there just want to focus or concentrate into the some of the group that get lit a bit more than others there because some of them might get the light but then it's still uh, get hit by some other blade and have shadow on the bottom end but the tip will get some light make sense all right now we're going to the character here um, let me add a little bit of light onto this side here really thin you know some of them might from the back side kind of backlit all right and this you can still have variation of you know you want it to be slightly lighter then you can have variation on that and kind of giving it some form inside a shadow basically all right so now well um, in the back I would probably if I have a bridge I would probably move the bridge over to this part here so you can have opened it up a little more but you know I would because this you can't really see the bridge I would move it somewhere if we have more time but um, now we are going to oh the sword right so I'm gonna flip it let's do this <laughs> oh, my hand's not steady enough. All right, let's just use straighter lasso tool here. And I'm gonna flip it. Oop, no, flip vertical.
maybe it should be straighter there can make kind of go up there a little bit more all right now I'm gonna go in the back and fix the rest of this access paint Flick. Um, what is this one? That one is just some vine. This one is. I'm gonna make it a new one here. Gonna fill in some gray. And boom. Maybe you have it slightly darker. I'm gonna darker. There we go. And now I am going to. Make selection here, pick the sky color, go a little bit brighter, 50%, and then do color dodge maybe. Whoops, and soft brush. Whoa, that's uh, go back to normal. So the whole blade would hit it. Alright, now I'm gonna reshape the blade a little bit more. Deselect. Pull this all the way up. Okay, so now I'm gonna select these going to go to selection modify contract maybe about 10 okay now I'm gonna make another layer here pick the dark go a bit lighter and then go BAM and I have that select still I'm gonna pick these and use these brushes to kind of add do you have a darker blade then there And I'll probably go to color dodge. And on top would we'll probably get more light or somewhat light. And some of them might have, you know, some on the top edge of it get hit by more light. Then I'm gonna go deselect using eraser. Maybe this one here, or you can just go to more detail and make the cut like what you have there. And maybe dot a little bit, make it lighter, right? And I'm gonna go to the bottom, use texture brush, make sure you're back to normal. Whoa, selection, making kind of darker on the bottom part, and make sure that your edge is crisp maybe a bit lighter all right 
Now I'm going to go to the top again and pick this value and just go really light and connect the top part there. Color dodge. And then continue on to the rest of these. You know, make them a little more obvious that the light kind of hit it. Um, and it's kind of angle a bit, right? So you can have a bit lighter. All right. So now. I'm going to go back to normal and connect the these. So it's not going to be super duper detailed, but just give you some idea of how to light them. All right. Um, It's like super bright. Gonna merge it down and then I'm gonna use multiply and cover it up a bit and erase. This one, I'm going to make another layer. I'm going to extend your hat a bit more. I'm going to simplify it for now. Oops, wrong type of layer. I want normal. I'm going to f make them a slightly flatter and longer so that. It has like a really uh, nice silhouette. Um, clean this up here because it's a bit too round. Well, to my taste, but and you have to kind of um, think about the shape, right? You have vertical here, and then you have horizontal. Then you have another horizontal. So it's kind of laid out nicely. Just extend, you know, exaggerate that slightly more. And then you're going to have to think about, like, are you going to see the underside? Probably. Then you're going to have to add shadow on the underside. Whoops, too dark. Right. Let's get darker as it closer to this body here. And this will kind of be in the shadow basically. I'm going to round about a bit more. curve it a bit so kind of maintain whatever shape that you already have but just a little bit wider and then on the edge of that it should be wider there because it's kind of like you re uh, now you rendering a well 
sort of like a sphere or a cone but then the light will kind of get to most of it okay and then uh, separation of the value so we're gonna pick well if the, your light is your sky is really bright so this should be like really light if you have uh, let's see let's pick the bright blue here and then go darker all right oh <laughs> I paint on that layer Ah, oh, that's okay. All right, let's make a palette here. Come on, L. Rah. Cut and paste. There we go. So now I'm gonna pin on top of that. Let's we can do it on the same layer as on the sword. And don't make the line too thick you know make it thin because it's, it's far away come on man curve a bit <sighs> there we go And another one, I'm going to make slightly smaller. Should be kind of thinner as it goes to the curved side here. And as it go into the shadow, it's going to be slightly, well, a bit darker. Could be there. And follow the edge. All right. Um, now I'm gonna lighten all those, the arm and everything else here. Or oh, maybe seventy percent on overlay. Whoa! It's just overblown. Let's do another overlay here and just. Paint that. There, and then, well, that might be a bit too light. Oh, I forgot the pants. Uh, they have the pants cover up. All right, so well, let's just yes, just delete that. Uh, make another normal layer. Go there, lighter toward blue. Zero. Yeah, that would be the color that I want. So I didn't use all that. I just picked my own color there. And then on the other skin, probably that. A little bit on the thumbs there. The red, I would bring it up here. And instead of putting other color on the mask, I would give it red so that it's served the other part too. On this side, you probably get some on top. There. This will be shadow, basically. Okay, this could be a bit lighter also. I would. Um, let's do overlay on that. Oh, here. Merge it down. 
um, and these pants here let's got to have it on top of this blade could lie in it a bit desaturate why is it different color oh all the way up there right I would kind of have it a little under the blade and then I would pick a super light desaturate go to a blue and let's light that up and then just then add more wrinkle and all that things right but this will be your light so maybe three value on the cloth and this side is still facing up so that could also be facing light same as here right make sure they're all the same color and this shadow would kind of pass through there so this my all has a little bit lighter pass through that I would make it toward the blue a bit more 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 there see what I mean make sure that you have and then yellow make it super yellow there here and on the gray um, rope there I'll make it medium gray so that it has a little more con almost similar to the dark pants the bottom part I might make it a bit lighter no, I'm start to mumble now. All right, so we're almost done. So basically, there make it make sure that it's like contrast, contrast, right? Um, oh, I was gonna add more to the hat. Let's do that. Um, let's do overlay so I don't paint over the white. Go super light. There should be that light. There we go. If that make any sense. All right. And now we can saw brush and blow on this a bit. You do color dodge right on the blade. Well, oh, that's a bit too much there. So basically, I simplify and make the color a little more uni uh, contrast and more unified. Uh, you go also use new adjustment layer, color balance. Well, I forgot one more thing. Um, let's, we can, I'm gonna erase some of these so that the light would pass through a bit more on the blade there there and on the underside here and on this side a bit just selective brightness mm. where is that I'm trying to get rid of those two paint that is almost there all right, and from here on, I could use layer, new adjustment, color balance. And in the mid-tone, I would go a little more warm. On highlight, I'm going to go a little cooler. And 
shadow go warm. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Let's check. Uh, the shadow's not too bad, but there. And I could lighten up the shadow a bit. Increase that. I think it's the magenta and the red. Make it too dark. But there, and you can also maybe have a little bit of uh, rim light from underneath. But there. All right. Well, um, if you are interested in taking my class, just go to theartclasses.com. But for now, this is it.